what is happening people welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a sunny london finally we've had a couple of weeks of shit weather I'm not gonna lie today just wanted to document what we're up to because this saturday we have our sixth b-day bash right here at fly city the first time we are we are celebrating a birthday or kind of like a link up a meet up with people like you hopefully if you're watching if you're coming down but our supporters our family people who are local to the area so um i'm really excited today we're just really just setting up stuff i just want to share with you what's going on with the party we've also got a really cool new apparel drop next friday so i'm going to show you more about that this is vlog number 100 and something i don't know where we're at but yeah it's been a while so um as always sit back relax and i hope you guys enjoy this video so one of the jobs today is to sort out this mess kind of didn't realize this was going on until this week when i realized this looks like a mess but yeah we want this whole space nice and clean cleared up this is where most of the party is going to happen outside here it's going to kick off at 1 p.m and hopefully the weather is like this man it'd be sick if it was so here we go it doesn't work rush athletics gardening channel coming soon watch this techers ah. Look, before anyone cusses my gardening skills, yeah, I don't do it often, but I think this is how you do this. Don't grow back. Been a couple of crazy weeks here, guys. We have, the team, have been trying to really sort out and organize the warehouse inside. So this place became a little bit of a mess. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now, actually. These are all the stuff for the party that we need to set up, but this whole space was full of like heaps and tons of stock and boxes and things like that. And what I needed to do was kind of rearrange the back end of the warehouse to just make some space and then put all those up on the shelves now. So these have all just been, these were kind of like the boxes that were here have now gone, gone back on the shelf. It's kind of crazy because it just shows like how much stuff is moving from this place. The party is this Saturday, which is the 12th. Uh, it's actually a week before our official birthday. So RA started August the 20th. That was the first uh, launch or the first kind of rope launch we did, which was August 20th, 2017. So six years now. And um, it's the first time I get a chance to celebrate the B-Day like with people like here at the HQ. So celebrating it here is gonna be obviously super special for us. Uh, I think like every time I get people together or we meet up with people like old faces, new faces, uh, it brings me back to the early days, man. It brings me back to the time when this was all kind of kickstarting, growing. And all I wanted to do was just bring people closer together in the world, like just connect people uh, via this one thing. And to now have the chance to obviously bring people in one space, a hub, give me a chance to, to say thank you in person, give people hugs and hear their stories, hear their journeys and just uh, share the love. Like it, it, it means a lot to me, man. Uh, you'd be pleased to know also if you are coming to the party, we just set up this basket. These are kind of like sample ropes or things that we kind of quality test. All the ropes in this basket are gonna be available for 10 pound, which is mad. Brand new, fresh vinyl. That's gonna go somewhere in the shop. And yeah, everyone who comes on the day is gonna have 15% off everything in store and also access to the new launch, which I'll be talking about a little bit later. Situation upstairs is kind of like a mess. Got our sharp hoover. Just recently caught this sharp mop. Not sure what that's gonna do, but we need it. We definitely need it. We had a little get together here not too long ago. We just got a mess that we need to sort out. So we need to mop this floor, mop everything over there, clean up the bar area, and then we should be ready for Saturday. Also, if you are coming this Saturday, head into this room, all right? So this is our creative room where all our master plans happen. But I'd love you all to sign this book, all right? This is our kind of sign-in book. Everyone that's kind of come to the HQ uh, has signed this book, basically where they're from, city, town, little message, some really nice, cool, cool messages being left here. So yeah, make sure you grab a pen, sign this book. Right, so I'm gonna quickly share with you our latest apparel launch, right? It goes live next week, next Friday, 18th of August, 4 p.m. Mark your calendars, people, man. This is a very limited launch, right? The concept is called RA Limited Edit. This is 001. This is the first collection of many, hopefully. And it's just unique, small pieces of our story, things I'm interested in. So the designs represent that. Each collection is very limited, as the name suggests. We just switched it up a little bit with the clothing, right, guys? I really wanted to do something that's a little bit more customized, a little bit more unique. 
and it's just yeah branching away from our usual style so this fit is a little bit more kind of looser it's an oversized fit it's long line tees as usual but yeah it's just cool it's cool for lifestyle and it's just tees and hoodies right now and then we will be obviously branching back into kind of the joggers and the shorts and things like that but the designs are super cool i think they're really cool and like i said the threads uh super premium feels super nice on the body and yeah, they're just really comfortable. And that's what we always want. So let me quickly show you. So we've got the Dreamer hoodie, guys. This is a yellow hoodie. And you'll see the, the feels from inside. This is kind of like this double brush fleece. Super nice and comfortable. Dream Plan Execute is a, is a quote of mine that I've been using for years and years. And it really represents a lot for what we've done. This is the new reformed version of the iconic kind of first ever legacy hoodie that we created. Really love this guy, man. He's become our kind of non-official mascot of the, of the year right now. Born to fly, this one says on it. Really nice t-shirt, again, over the shoulder fit, long line. It's got this kind of curved hem as well, which is always nice. A really kind of fun and playful day when we fly on this burgundy kind of set. This is nice. Black version, we have the day when we fly going down the middle, curved hem, all nice. This is just like really, really cool stuff. Then we have this kind of gray TRWF. Again, if you know, you know type of thing. Anyone seeing you rocking this, They'll probably be like, what the hell does this stand for? So got this bad boy. I wasn't gonna actually originally run this one, but this is now called the Game Changer hoodie, obviously with the money rope emblem. And yeah, like I said, they're just small parts, small little pieces of the RA story. So each of these styles back here, they're just one-offs, all right? And that's the whole nature of this limited edit concept is that we're only gonna run them once. So once they're all gone, they're gone. Tonight, I've got a shoot planned with my brother-in-law, big up John, you'll be seeing him later on. But we're gonna be shooting all of this. Yeah, just so that you know, for the t-shirts, I wear a large size. And for the hoodies, if I want a kind of more usual hoodie fit, I'll go for medium. But if I want a more comfort fit, I'll go for large. So I would recommend that if you guys are buying anything, um, the t-shirts fit, yeah, very true to size. But if you do want to have your hoodies not as kind of comfort fit or loose fit, etc., then size down and then it'll become like a kind of more natural hoodie that you would buy usually, if that makes sense. One rule that we have for anyone coming to the party is please do not skip too close to this wall, all right? If this vinyl comes off, this print here or this vinyl here cost your boy about 400 pounds, all right? So if you're coming down to skip, you've got this whole floor space, right? That you can jump on. Just do not jump close to the wall, please. I can't be asked to repaint this wall or replace this, because this is just mad expensive as well. So don't jump near the walls, please. Orange Legacy. Let's have a look. That's the orange. Orange Legacy. And what other color? Gray pink. Gray pink, gray pink. Voila. Where's that going? Sweden. Sweden. Big up to you, Jenny. hate building shit. I'm terrible at it. I was never the, the young kiddo who used to like playing with drills and spanners and build shit, Lego, all that. I never really ever got into that. So my building capacity is whack. Gardening is pretty whack. Need to fix up, man. I need to learn some new skills in life. Anytime I see any screws and bolts and little spanners that come with stuff, it gives me a bit of anxiety, I'm not gonna lie. Gotta build that up now and that's where the new clothing's gonna go. Corn. Cornhole. Cornhole. Get some of these uh, sandbaggy things. Dash it in the hole. Ready? Go on. Oh, yeah. Cop this bad boy a few months back, but finally getting it out of the box. It's kind of cool. It's going to be a little tasting stand, and if anyone wants to cop any sauce, that's going to be there. Hoping to get Mumsy down on Saturday as well, so you guys can meet her. It is now almost 5 30. Finish this stand. This took a freaking while to sort out. It's not the most sturdiest thing, but it's enough to do. We're going to have some sauces. Mumsy will be there, hopefully serving some peeps, some uh, breadsticks and hot sauce. And then hopefully if you guys want to cop, we'll have it all laid out here nice and neat for you guys. Kind of like this, man. It's cool. It's cute. What are you saying? Debut on YouTube, yeah? <laughs> I've been on YouTube before, man. You've been on YouTube before. You have been on YouTube before. We'll have to intro you properly, man. Got my brother-in-law in the house, peeps. This is official John and I'm gonna have to leave your Insta. Yeah, put it in today. Yeah. We'll put it, we'll put it in today. Go check out his work here, man. This guy's killing it with the camera right now. Gonna be helping me shoot 
some of this right now. To be fair, that edit that you did with the, with the rope catch hologram thing was sick. Oh, it's sick. All right, we're gonna have to show you guys. Three, two, one, check this out. John has got the hook up for these outdoor shots. So let's go set that up now. First, our first apparel shoot together. First of many. First of many, first of many. Yeah, his film work, camera work, absolutely insane. And yeah, hopefully the shots came out like we planned. So hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging with me today. I'm not sure if it comes across on camera like how busy and how crazy and hectic things are here. Uh, a little bit random, I know. We're also gonna be vlogging and documenting Saturday and hopefully getting some more people on camera, some new people that we're gonna be meeting. Yeah, man, I'm gonna close out today's vlog. It's been super cool hanging with you. Random shit happening, random building. Hopefully you enjoyed the kind of photo sequence as well. This is kind of the stuff that happens behind the scenes. It's all wishy-washy, nothing's very professional with my side and how I set things up. But luckily we got family on hand to come and help get some fire shots for you. So peeps, without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful evening, morning, day, whenever you're watching this. I'll see you soon for some more fire tutorials. Peace.